Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're going to be jumping into episode 6 to 9, nice, of season 1 of the Owl House. So before we jump in, I want to go through a couple of things. First things first, June 12th, season 2 premiere of Owl House came out of nowhere. I swear I have a curse or maybe it's a blessing, but it's like, oh, if I announce a series or I start a series, boom, there's the new content. Uh, but but I, this I finish right when I finish Adventure Time, boom! Adventure Time Distant Lands announcement. As as I'm coming up to start Devils Apart Timer season one, after like a million years, season two announcement confirmed. Now I finally start Owl House and season two, which is kind of which has just kind of been sitting there when we really have had no idea what's going on with that. All of a sudden, it's coming out in a few weeks. So. The, the curse slash blessing continues. I assume blessing for those of you watching the video since you obviously be hyped for the second season of Owl House. Um, as far as my plans to react to Owl House season two, um, I want to address that right away since this is the you know first video since that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. So obviously I'm going to do my sets. I have this and I think though there's going to be three, um, how many more sets do I have? I want to say I have three more sets after this. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so we're doing six to nine. Yeah, and we have three more. After this video, we have three more videos of Owl House for the first season. So by the time I finish season one will be, I mean, season two will have already started. Uh, I don't know how many episodes will will have started, and, and it's also possible that'll be around the time I'll be on a trip. I really don't know. It's starting to look like I might not be going on that trip for a while, potentially not in June at all. Uh, but whenever the case that I know that that's looming at some point, I'm definitely going to get down there at some point. But I really wanted to. Um, I, I'm really unsure as to my plan to tackle season two of Owl House because. I kind of want to do it live-ish. I think that would be fun. I don't have any live stuff going, and I didn't really expect to have any live things going until probably um, the around the end of 2021 when Ruby comes back and when Attack on Titan comes back and stuff like that. So there's definitely room where I could definitely fit in Owl House reactions, like live reactions for Season 2, but I haven't decided ex for sure um, but there is a decent chance I'll be reacting to season two as it comes out, or at least like do a video where I catch up to season two and then start reacting to it as it comes out or whatever, because obviously season two is starting June 12th. I'm not going to finish season one by June 12th, uh, but I shouldn't be that far behind it either. Uh, so I imagine by the time I am done with season one, there probably will be like one more video, which might or might not be a rotation thing. I'm not entirely sure. Um, how that, how I'll do that, but whatever the case may be, I'm definitely excited for, uh, Owl House, and the fact that season two is here is pretty cool, because it can kind of mean that I can kind of transition it, assuming I do go this route, I can do season one, do the sets, and then kind of transition into doing the show weekly for season two, season one, in many ways, is, go is acting as a, a long kind of hype for the series, and then season two will be fun. I do know that season three of Owl House was recently confirmed alongside the season two announcement. So, uh, uh, the season two, like, release date, season three has been confirmed. So we are getting season three at some point down the line, which is cool. That that lets me know that there's going to, it's at least a three season show. So we are going to go beyond whatever happens in season two. So that gets me pretty excited for the future with this series because it's kind of like the presence. Like I'm getting through it. This is kind of like the past, the episodes that came out back last year, and then it's it's the it's the present with season two, which you know I'll be probably getting to pretty soon, and it's the future with season three whenever that happens. So uh, I'm excited for catching up to the show. I'd say slightly more now, now that I know that season two is basically on right now. Essentially not, but relevant to me, it's basically immediate because again by June twelfth. I'm not going to be done. I might I'll be probably be close to finish with season 1, but I'll probably I will I shouldn't be finished with season 1 by that time. So, it's going to be a lot of fun to um going to be a lot of fun to get to Al House. That's going to be really exciting stuff. I can't wait. So, uh yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say uh, regarding that. Now, in regards to the characters. So, last set was my first real set. I was introduced to a lot of characters. Let's see if I remember all of them. So, of course, there's Ida, there's Luz, there's King. Easy. I think I got those completely memorized. 
There's Willow, there's Gus, Augustus, but it's Gus. There's Amity. I got those. I think I have those names down. Ida's sister. What's her name? It's Lily. It's Lilith. Lilith or Lily. And we also learned that Ida's name is Edelin. Okay, I feel pretty good. That 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 run through of the names went well. Is there any others? There's Warden Wrath. That that name, oddly enough, is like locked into my head. Maybe it's because his name is literally Wrath. But um, is there any? I don't remember the name of the Emperor. I, I feel like they said the name of the Emperor in Episode 5, um, but I don't remember the name of the Emperor. But I don't think it's that important that I remember. Like, I just know it's the Emperor. And, like, because they obviously did the gimmick near the end of the episode where they kind of set up that, like, Lilith is has a, a pact with the Emperor to capture Ida in order to get something in return. And I actually wonder, oddly enough... If potentially what she's trying to do, ironically enough, is um, like a deal to save Ida. Because it does definitely seem like she still loves her. But they kind of portrayed it in like a dark light. So I don't know. I'm going to be curious to see where they go with Lilith. Uh, that's going to be an interesting dynamic. Like I said, they really kicked off kind of the plot. Like the real like story. Like the longer running story of the show. And I definitely think it's going to go in interesting directions as we delve further into season one. And I expect by the end of season one... Things are going to get really heavy, and it's going to set up Season 2, and Season 2 is going to be really interesting and really hype. Um, and it is interesting, right? Because I know as far as a lot of people, as far as the uh, the the, the uh, Disney shows, is that I know a lot of people are really into Amphibia. And Amphibia's already finished, like, it's had two seasons. So I think with, and I think the, the deal with Owl House is that, you know, Owl House still hasn't had its second season. So I think it'll be interesting to see what those opinions are like moving forward. Of course, I got to watch Amphibia eventually as well. That's pretty high on my list. Um, it's the other kind of Disney show, recent Disney show that I've, you know, hear a lot of good things about and wanted to do for quite a while. Um, but I happened to pick this one. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for... Um, for a lot that's coming. I know this is kind of a long intro, but I wanted to go over the fact that Owl House Season 2 is coming out very soon and that I will probably be doing it live. I haven't figured out a day. I haven't like really put it together exactly what I want to do cuz it's going to come out on um it's going to come out on Saturdays, which uh, like because it's coming out on Saturdays, I almost I'm almost considering um I don't know. It's interesting. I'm almost considering moving my re-upload days maybe to Monday and doing the reactions on Sunday, or maybe I would do the reactions on Monday. I haven't decided exactly what I want to do with Al House uh, if I do do it live. Because, I mean, the general thought would be to do the reactions on Sundays and then just move the re-upload days to, like, Saturday or Monday or something. I don't know. But we'll see. I haven't decided anything about that, so... Um, should be interesting, but I'm definitely looking forward to um, I'm definitely looking forward to some more um, to some more uh, to some more Al House. It should be a lot of fun. I think so far every episode's been better than the last, in my opinion. Probably I I, I could be talked out of it because um, I've uh, but I would say that probably I've liked each episode more than the last. I think that streak will end with the next episode. I doubt it'll be as good as episode five. But I am excited to see what we have in store. I apologize, like I said, for the very long intro there. Like I said at the beginning, and it's obviously in the title of the video, we are doing episodes six to nine nice. So another four episodes of The Owl House. Let's check it out. Episode six of season one, Hootie's Moving Hassle. So it sounds like they're going to move The Owl House to a different location. That'd be my guess. And it's a hassle. And it involves Hootie, who's the owl thing on the door. Anyways, let's check it out. Season 1, Episode 6, Hootie's Moving Hassle. We'll commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. Tarot cards? Um, or you're just playing, like, cards? The fuck? Oh. Watch closely, Luz. Hexus Hold'em is the most tricky game Hexus on the Boiling Hold em. Any proper witch knows how to play. Oh, boy. Cards. The paper rectangles that old people think are fun. Nice. What the fuck? Why is there always a card game in, like, every... 
Now, when it looks like the deck is stacked against you, that's when you break out the wild card. Winner, Ida. Woo! I win! In your adorable owl face. Aww. I love the feeling of victory. It feels... fluffy? Uh, Ida, it's happening again. What's happening again? Your curse is returning! Yeah. Okay. Interesting, so we're talking about the curse again. I didn't really think they'd come up again that soon. I'm excited to see more of the students, but Amity's the one that spoke to me the most. I thought her writing was really cool. I like Lilo's plant magic. And then Gus is fun. But without a doubt, Amity's the one that spoke to me the most out of the three. But right now, as far as characters, it's Ida and everyone else. Lilith was really cool, but we haven't seen enough of her, but Ida's on another plane so far. I'm sure that'll change oh, as we boy. get more of other potatoes. This is terrible. I'm out of elixir. Uh, last time this happened, you turned into this thing. Yeah. I know I should be repulsed, but that look is fierce. Ida. True. You're right, you're right. Very true. We need to head to the market. I, I, I respect fierce. I just feel everything that's not nailed down. Shouts to Steven go, Sandoval. Would you like to play one more hand of Hexes Hold'em? What? Hey, where are my cards? Take these and fly ahead. She'll have to follow us. Albert, you sore loser. Give me back my cards. Hey, open up, Morton. Uh, just, just a minute. Is there anything better than people watching in the demon realm? That's one of the cool things you can do at baseball games. I can't wait to go to a baseball game again. Haven't gotten around to it. I'm almost vaccinated. I know the pain. Soon. I'll start doing a few things. Hello! Big dude with a giant sword. Oh, that's a big fish monster thing. That is one ominous parade. That's no parade. Those are demon hunters. Dangerous nomads who capture and sell the most powerful beasts. Yeah, if they knew what you were, Ida, they probably will go after you, and that might be the fear. Which I'm about to become if you don't open up, Martin! Sorry, Ida. I was up all night poison tasting, and for some reason, I don't feel great. I I'm wonder why. Juice, pal. Oh, gee. Let me see what I can do. Oh! oh Gus. The hey, Losers Brigade. Wait. What's wrong? Who hurt my babies? <laughs> Who hurt my babies? That was very star-like. Oh, look at Amity just kind of looking. Amity's having a moonlight conjuring and invited everyone but me. Mm. And she keeps posting about it on her Pinstagram account. Pinstagram? Oh, Pinstagram. That actually... Conjuring night. No dorks allowed. Witch chick 128, by the way. What's a moonlight conjuring? You spend the night at someone's house. Telling stories, playing games. Oh, sleep on Like a slumber party. But with magic? those. Then you bring something to life with moon magic. There you go, there you go. That's the Like part. a weird slumber party. Best yeah, pretty much. I've never been to one. You need at least three people and... I'm three people. I mean, we are three people. And we're way better than them. <laughs> Sorry you couldn't get an invite to the conjuring, Willow. Only a real witch is allowed. <sighs> Leave her alone. It's not her fault she was born without talent. Damn, Amity does not seem amused at all. She seems really... Whoa. <laughs> time getting thorny over them. Wow. We are gonna have our own Moonlight Conjuring. Interesting. Are you serious? This was on my bucket list. After owning a real human bucket. Wow. That's a really of weird course. thing to want, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. I'll go tell Eden. Dude, for anyone who knows the MLP I got bad fandom, news and good news. Gus bad news is, is I'm what all till next the week. fandom good turns Lyra into. Good news look for you. Martin! Well, gee, why'd you wait to re-up till now? I've been very busy. Yeah, busy playing Hexus Hold'em. She's obsessed with it. I am not obsessed. You're playing it right now. No. Am I winning? You know, I wouldn't suggest this to just anybody. But if you need your elixir, you could try your luck later this evening. In the night market? Oh, no. There's a guy with a stand. Goes by Grim Hammer. If Grim anyone Hammer. has what you need... It's him. Ida, Gus and Willow and I are going to do a Moonlight Conjuring and stick it to Amity, so can we- Not tonight, I'm going out. I need you to watch the house. I have many precious objects in there. 
Like me. Well, you're coming with me. Wow. I need an extra pair of eyes looking out for pickpockets. And an extra pair of hands in case I want a pickpocket. Oh. Uh, pickpocket! Wow. Then maybe they can I thought we were going to... So, besides, conjurings are dumb. Say I thought you were going to use King it's like magic to, like, help, babies. You know, help cheat with Hexus Hold'em, Both. maybe. What did Edith say? So, guys... Oh, look. Don't lie. The moon is rising into place. Why does the, the moon look like a weird face? Only align once a year. Oh, I can't believe I finally have enough friends for a moonlight conjuring. Thank you, Luz. Did Ida say it was okay? Um, yes. She said yes. We can do it at the Owl House. As long as we don't make a mess or touch anything and never bring up that we did it. <laughs> yes, oh, you're the best. We're, We're gonna, gonna do a conjuring. We're gonna do a conjuring. 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 This is a bad idea, Luz. Luz. You're in charge while I'm out. Make sure Hootie doesn't get into any trouble. Hoot hoot! I don't need a babysitter! I'm a big boy house! You can count on me. I'd never betray your hard-earned trust. Five, <laughs> four, You're acting three. suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you doing that thing where you hide in your hoodie? Meow, I'm not. Meow, I'm not. Oh, where's King? He's right here. Wow. Mm. Wow. His little body just conks out when he's weightless. Look at this. What the fuck? Aw, he's so dangly. Anyway, really going now. And Luz? If you mess up oh my house, God. I will never trust you again. No Come on! <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Classic. I should I really be doing this? No. Nope. Willow is counting on you. Okay, she's gone. Really? I'm a sneaky sneakster. I've got leaves in my pants. And I like it. What? Company! Hooray! Finally, someone to listen to my stories! Okay, one time, a sparrow flew into my mouth, and then I... <sighs> Get fucked. <laughs> Ew. Well, I guess the sparrow the flew into your room. mouth a long time yeah, ago yeah, from the looks of it. It's technically living. The walls are breathing. Look. <sighs> Creepy. Enchanting. And look at all these human treasures. And actual humans. We've yeah. got snacks. We've got weird music. We've got a bucket, guess, my man. You found your Best bucket. Of all, we have actual friends to do the conjuring with. This is so exciting. So how does this conjuring stuff work? Well, first, we find an object to animate. Since it's our first time, we should pick something meaningful, something beautiful. Like this strangely buff little man? What the fuck? I'm half beef, half bob. Yes, beef bob. he's perfect. That's not exactly what I meant by beautiful. <laughs> Wow. Okay, wow. Yes. No, Beef Bob. Be risen. Oh, they're going to make a Beef Bob. This should be interesting. According to the Conjuring books Bob. I've read, we say the incantation and make a connection with the doll. Figurine. <laughs> figurine. Wow. I relate. I relate. I, relate. I have a few chance. figurines. However, most of them are female. Not all of them. your cute little man oh no oh no what the hell did you do oh my god the entire house okay Guys, we've gone full gravity falls now just hiccup little buff guy what did you do a real man never takes accountability no wow i, I think we might have animated the house by accident yep the house yep Hoot hoot. Some kind of trance. Wow. Yes. Our magic must have spread through the house instead of the doll. Figurine. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's fighting on the figurine part. Hootie, stop! Sick. How do we do that? By holding hands, you Hold gay. Hands yeah, I'm gonna say, friendship is magic. Holding hands is gay, and gay is the ultimate Enjoy friendship, magic, love. Yes. And the moon. Probably the moon. Yeah. This is amazing. What do we do now? On the one hand, we should probably stay put. On the other hand, we've got a giant walking house and should totally take it on a joyride. You really shouldn't. Okay, okay, but we've got to be back before the moon sets or Ida will kill me. Woo! Yeah! Joyride! 
Oh, Ida might not get the chance to kill you if this guy does. Night market. Oh, yeah, yeah. The curse. I need that elixir. Quick. Well, that's disturbingly. Hey, you. You know where I can find a grim hammer? Nice. Sick. In more than one sense. Hey, is that? It's Basha. That girl who made fun of us. Ugh. Yes, Mom. I'm going to a Moonlight Conjuring. No, Mom. You can't come. And yes, Mom. It's sad that you're asking. Wow. Speaking by a she raven. Us. What do we do? That's really cool. Hmm. Hey. Hey, you. You should have. Uh... Stop being so mean to people. You're kind of a jerk. <laughs> Ew, a talking house is giving me a lecture? Whatever, I'll just TP you like I did with the rest of the neighborhood. But don't you see? I am no mere house. <laughs> I've never pranked anyone before. And now I have a taste for it. Oh God! We follow her well, to we know Gus. Is... Oh country. God! That'll oh God! No talent. Dude, don't fuck with Amity. That actually, Amity I'm else... starting to think we should head back. Amity's updating her Instagram. Shout out to my fellow witches. Hashtag humans can, can fight it. it. <gasps> wow! Let's do it. That's literally aimed towards <laughs> one person. Jesus Christ! I like how we're getting. Yeah. Uh, I seek the one named Willow, call Grimhammer. Um, I Gus and Amity. Call Grimhammer. Yo, Monsundry! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice. I have weaponry from the hinterlands, curses from the winterlands, and jelly beans! Jelly beans! They're lethally delicious. Yeah, it's a bad you idea. You are Grimhammer? Tibblet Tibbly, Grimhammer the third. Please, call me Tibbles. Tibbles! <laughs> he wants to be called that. Okay, Tibbles. Yeah, Tibbles I need is some of this badass stuff. name. Oh, this is one wicked brew. Lucky for you, I just stocked up. Hazam! I'll give you ten snails. Add two more zeros, and it's a deal. A thousand snails? What kind of game are you playing? Capitalism, where everyone wins except you. Hey. Say, you play Hexes Hold'em? Really? Now? Yeah. Oh. Is that what that game is called? <laughs> I was just using these as coasters. How about we make it interesting? I win, you give me the elixir. You win, you can take something of mine. Oh, what fun! You're on! You're getting played. He knows exactly what Hexus Oldham is. You're getting played. You think you're, you're the one playing him, but he's playing you, Ida. Time to show Amity what a real conjuring looks like. I'm sure you'll find a way to win anyway, but... Ah, what happened? Is that a giant crossbow? Yeah! That's not good. Demon Hunter's coming. Knock, knock. And commercial time. I don't know why that cliff kind of reminds me of uh, Total Drama Island. Which I've not watched that show in forever, but a million years ago. Wow, that's gay. Was that French? You shouldn't ask me to help with anything. Because I, I, I thought she. Well, no, I said no habla, so that's Spanish for sure. My insides didn't. Habla. I don't know, it's just the way she said it sounded very French. I'll have to go back to that line later. Take the house and rip up the house, demon. I know en enough Spanish to where I probably would know no, what she said. Hey, I'm a refined taste, hoot hoot. Nice. What do we do with the worms? Kill them. Throw them over the cliff. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, kids. Here's the end of your short little lives. Dark. Wait, 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 wait. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life? Tossing kids from cliffs? Actually, yes. It's, it's fun. It's been my dream since I was a boy. Oh my god! Good I was you. a strange child. I can tell. <laughs> the way he did that. Whee! 
And saved by the branch. Now. We will be when Ida finds out about the house. Luce, I'm so sorry. You wanted to turn back, but I just had to show off to Amity. The truth is, she and I used to be friends. What? Of course. We played together as kids, but when she got her magical powers and I didn't, she stopped hanging out with me. Guys, is now the best time? Uh, I just wanted to prove to her that I was a powerful witch too. That's ridiculous! You helped It could be worse. You could have you could have got Amity tailored. I don't know what she's talking about. Next to Ida, you're the most powerful she didn't witch I viciously know. bully you. No, offense, Gus. no, not at all. I know what I'm about. <laughs> The street can't hold us much longer. There. Now they can If you know, you know. That root. Gotcha. Nice. Remember that OP Oof, plant magic that to show was itself. To watch. You card shark. You hustled me. <laughs> Looks like you forgot about my wild card. Yeah. In any case, I'd like my prize now, and I choose the little bone boy. <laughs> I've always wanted a tiny servant to model my line of baby clothes. No, I don't look good in clothes. I'm all natural. Ida, do something. Uh -oh. uh, I can't perform magic. Nice. You think this can stop me? I can still bite your ankles. You don't think I know who you are? Ida, the owl lady. <gasps> Uh oh. That's right. I've seen your wanted posters around here. I wonder how uh -oh. much the Emperor's Coven would pay me to hand you. It literally a says on the. It yeah, literally says on the back. flyer. They nearly got me. It's but, a know, fuck ton of zeros. They were children, Tom. Yeah. We may be children, but we're also witches. Powerful ones. <laughs> Is Gus's official magical term that he's a witch? Because if that's the case, that's really fucking funny. Because then the meme becomes that you don't... That witch in this universe does not refer to a... A female mage, but rather it's just a meme. It's funny because wizards to exist too. Victory, but we gotta get home before Ida does. Well, I think you're gonna have a little extra time because Ida is in trouble. In fact, you might be able to they're use just that house. Children, Tom. Yeah, get fucked. King, I'm sorry. King, who's King? I go by Little Bone Boy now. I know I have a problem. I get obsessed with Hexes Hold'em, but I'm done with that stupid game. Look. <laughs> you promise? I promise. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. I'll grab you the elixir and then we can bust out of here. Bone boy! Huh? You will do no such thing. The Emperor's Coven is already on its way to send this witch here to the conformatorium. And I just rustled up some more clothes oh, for you God. to try on. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, no. Just because I have a model's body doesn't mean you can a use me like body. this. What the fuck? I can't. Oh, here comes the and house, I right? I am Bone Boy. I've got the card stacked against you. Wait. And nothing can stop me. Nothing! No, except for a giant house. Nice. Sorry, mister! Nice. <laughs> Wait, was that my house? <laughs> yeah, it was. Quick. Yeah, it was. And you're fucked. Yeah. Tibbles, old Fuck, boy. Get fucked, Tibbles. You forgot about the wild card. Curse you, witch! Curse you, bone boy! I'll have my revenge. Tiblet, Tibbly, Grinhammer the Third! He reminds me... This guy reminds me a little bit of, um... Oh, God, it's been so long since I've watched Gravity Falls. I want to say Gideon. It's been Did forever since I've watched that show. Is the room spinning, or is it just me? <laughs> nice. Yeah, just a little house humor. Nice Ooh, to be back, Hootie. Sorry about all that, Hootie. It's okay. I'm just glad I was included. Oh boy. Uh oh. You are so busted. Oh man. You held a moonlight conjuring. I did. And 
And you animated my house. My house! Yes! <laughs> no, don't punish Luce. We're the ones who pushed her to do the conjuring. If you're gonna eat me, just do it now! What well, is up with you getting eaten? Now. Hey, you didn't have to do that. Yes, Luce, I did. Well, you're all guilty, so you'll all be punished. <laughs> my house, top to bottom. Oh my god. That and another thing. Reminded oh, wait for it. That was totally amazing. And I'm so joining you for next year's conjuring. Hey. Yeah, there you go. That's I can't sick. I believe they animated a whole house. Yeah, you're right. That takes some powerful magic. You know, I mm -hmm. still kind of wish we got to show Well, up. Willow's really powerful. We don't yeah. really know about but Gus we'll and know then our daring adventures. Lose. Ugh, so what if we couldn't move a doll? Now we have time for what really matters. Instagram. Oh my god. And Amity. <gasps> yeah, Amity is like depressed. What? Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're pretty crazy. I mean, it's not surprising. Like, Willow is OP. We know that. In her in her magic specialty, she's really good. This is the same ED? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, I wasn't actually sure for a second there. I don't know. Okay, so that was season one, episode six of the Owl House. Um, a few things I want to talk about in regards to that episode. So we'll get into this real quick. Um, that was a good episode. I I stand. I am. I will say. And again, I'm not 100. percent Like if I rewatch the episodes, my opinions might change a little bit. But I do think the streak is over. I think this is the first episode of the series that was not the best episode so far. I, I still think episode five is the best episode of the Owl House so far. But I did enjoy episode six quite a bit. Uh, it was a fun episode, you know, getting to see Willow, Gus, and Luz hang out was great. Um, I'm enjoying the fact that we're getting to see, like, Willow, Gus, and Amity um, quite a bit. Um, it's nice to see that they, they're in a lot of episodes, so they are very recurring characters, which is very cool because I, I do think that it's kind of nice to have the other kids dynamic and it not just be the whole, um, you know, Luz, King, and Ida dynamic. Um... Obviously, the potential of Luz is the, the thing here. We really know nothing about Gus's magical abilities, how strong he is, but we know Willow is strong. But, um, yeah, seeing Luz's, Luz's uh, magical abilities potentially on display uh, in its own way, that she has a lot of power. So I'm curious to see where this goes regarding her, but it'll be interesting, and I'm excited to see that play out. But what I want to mention... Specifically regarding Amity in this episode, it was really interesting. It seems like Amity, everything about Amity implies a very hard worker, but also someone I think it was kind of that thing where she is like the popular kid. She is the popular girl and she goes along with that stuff and she posts on Penstagram and all that, right? But I think what makes it interesting is, especially in this episode, I, she was portrayed in a very like... I'm kind of above this. It, and I, maybe not in a pretentious way because she didn't like talk down to the people that were doing it, but she just had this aura of like, I don't care. I, I'm focused on other things in my life. I'm focused on, you know, my own shit. And like, she's just kind of in her own world. And it almost came off as like a little bit of depression. It's really interesting. I, she was really interesting in the shots we got of her, just her expression on her face. And just that vibe that she gave off was really interesting and not something that I was necessarily expecting to see. And I'm very curious where that goes. I'm very curious what they do with that kind of aura that was emanating off of um, that was emanating off of um, Amity in this episode. She she kind of I was interested in her stuff even though she didn't do much in this episode. Uh, and then we met some of her other friends, too, who seem, you know, pretty cliche. Uh, and I, I I don't think the show seemed to give us... I mean, maybe the one girl with the three eyes will, will be relevant, but I don't think they 
meant to kind of focus on I mean I think the point of those scenes more than anything was kind of to show how Amity's kind of in her own kind of world and she's kind of got her own shit on her mind and she's kind of in that feeling so I think that was kind of the main point of those of, of, the, of that especially that scene near the end but yeah, curious to see where this goes, because obviously a bunch of people were impressed um, because the uh, the the thing with Luz, Willow, and Gus kind of started to get over all over Pentagram, and uh, that's going to be interesting to see if anything comes of that. But um, yeah, I mean, Ida, interesting that Ida and the Curse came up yet again. Uh, just another episode referencing that. Obviously, the curse is a problem for Ida and is going to be a big part of her storyline. And I, I, I do... I almost wonder if we could even potentially... It's probably too dark for the show, but I'm not talking season one either. But at some point, we get a moment where she gets kind of like permanently... Permanently ends up like in that form. And, and, and they have to like, you know, whatever. But I mean, you could do some really dark stuff that would be like really sad with that. I don't think they will... But it's interesting to think about, because you never know. Um, yeah, that was a fun episode. I don't have that much else to say. I thought the Moonlight Conjuring thing was fun. Great to see the kid, the uh, students again. And I'm curious to see where that goes. I, I don't think there was like too much there. We met a new character, Tibbles, and he seems fun. I'm sure we'll see him again at some point. I don't know if we'll see him again this season, but we will definitely see him again at some point, even if it's not in season one. Um, that's pretty much all I got. So next episode looks like it's called Lost in Language. Um, not sure what that could be about. I really don't know. I mean, maybe it has something to do with like ancient writing or something. I don't know. But whatever it is, something's lost in language and... Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe something involving a book. I don't know. But whatever the case may be, it should be interesting. I'm curious to see what it's all about. So let's jump into episode seven of The Owl House. Alrighty. Let's jump into Lost in Language, season one, episode seven of The Owl House in three, two, one, and play. Oh, that was Zora, Hecate began. Oh, she's Our reading the book again. Lost only in battle. But today, I stand before you seeking an ally. <sighs> Luce, you're getting all swoony again. I can't help it. Azora is able to befriend everyone, even her biggest rival. I wish I had that kind of power. Oh, you Rivals do. Rivals are meant to be annihilated, not Jesus. Befriended. Now keep reading. I've been sucked into your awful fandom. Okay. Wow. Suddenly, the door swung open. Ding, dong, ding. Hoot, hoot. The book has come to life. Burn it. It's going to be Amity. Huh? Oh. Ida, you got a package. It looks like a gift basket. Probably an offering. Ah, uh, being the most powerful witch in the Boiling Isles has its perks. <laughs> what the fuck? Mmm, fresh meat. Oh, God. No, not eating that. Witches eating babies is so 1693. What is that? Wow! There's a note. Take care of my child till morning, yee yee. Nope. Babies are awful. Not yeah, happy. Huh? Yeah, I agree. Will be handsomely rewarded. XOXOXOX Bat Queen. Bat Queen? Reward? Oh my god, Who's shiny the thing. She's the wealthiest demon on the Boiling Isles. Get in with her and you're set for life. So, we keep this thing alive for a few hours and we get paid? Easy. Our greatest adventure yet. Learning about love and life through a child's eyes. What Not the you. fuck is wrong with you? have to return you. the books I checked out from the library. Damn, get wrecked. I her getting a cut of the loot. Good wow. Now wow. let's take a look at this little darling. Oh boy! Ah. On second thought, maybe we could use your help! Well, I better get to the library. Oh, Luz, nice! We got this, right? That was brilliant, Luz. Oh, yeah. Like, if, if he just gonna fuck you like that, you fuck her right back. That's great. Yeah, this name is not growing on me. It's perfectly fine, it's perfectly acceptable, but it it's nothing special. Although it does give me a little bit of the Gravity Falls vibe, but just not as good in my opinion. Ch 
just short enough to where I don't really want to bother skipping it either. Huh? Whoa. Is that the library? That's pretty sick. Yeah. Huh? Late. Late. Coffee grass and blood stains. Wow. These are Edas, aren't they? <laughs> that was a crazy night. Uh, I'll put them on her tab. By the way, we're closing early for the Wailing Star Meteor Shower. Ooh, what's that? You're in a library. Read a book. <laughs> I love him. I'm in a library. I will read a book. She is a book lover. Demon decimal system. Do not feed. <laughs> Wow. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. This place is amazing. What do you think you're doing? Oh my god. Ah, I've been caught. The bay. It's time to be a book. <laughs> Wait. We're your friends, and we want to help. Said the tin boy with a yellow. Oh, been smiled and paced the floor. I've never had real friends before. Amity you reading to kids? Then we'll be your first. Oh the my god. Oh cut. my god, Luz. Odebin couldn't believe his luck. So bookmaker Odebin surrounded Whose by Whose voice friends, is Amity? I would have to look in the friendship. end of this episode. And that's the end. <laughs> Amity seems so nice. Yeah, because she's smiling. not a bad person. <gasps> Maybe I can befriend her like yeah, Azora I, I knew, her yeah. rival. I knew that's where this episode was going. <laughs> Is Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, See you next time. Damn, Broxus. I love your voice. Ugh, you. <laughs> Reading to kids. Wow. Manga. Shouts to manga, like by the way. This sour lemon drop has a hidden sweet center. It's for extra credit. Don't get your leggings in a bunch. Hey, I could help. She does kids. have nice leggings. I will admit reading that. And do voices. I do the best monster voice. Human. Do you see me going to the owl shack and bugging you while you fry up owls? Wow. Okay, I don't really know what you do there, but every time you come near me, I get in trouble. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Aww. I'm sorry. Aww? Aww? Hi. That little hand? So much for what befriending rivals. You gonna let her get to you like that? Um. Um. Who are you? Um. Well, Wisher's on a mission. A noble quest. Watch this. Hey, mittens. <laughs> oh shit! The older Mom, siblings. Stop forgetting your lunch. Older siblings. And stop being a jerk to your friend. Mm, she is not my friend. Oh my god. Yeah, makes sense. She seems too cool for you. What? I am. What? You can leave now, all of you. <laughs> older siblings. Damn. <laughs> yeah, he might be a little old for you. We've heard so much about. I'm Emra, and this is Edric. Emma We're and Edric. older siblings. We heard how you embarrassed wonder if those are both spelled with A's. convention last week. Wow. No wonder she hates you. Wow. No, but I didn't mean any of it. I thought we were as cool as cucumbers, but we're as what sour as What are you talking cucumbers. about? You Don't know waste that? your time with mittens. Me and Ed, we're way more fun. Follow us. Huh. Okay. Was not expecting this. What the fuck? And here we go towards our non-fiction section. <gasps> Fiction, fiction is our world, but fiction. Wow. Well, my life is real. Philosophy. <laughs> Philosophy memes. I love it. Wow. So these guys are just straight up trolling. <laughs> what? What the oh, fuck? No, not again. Yeah, your life is definitely <laughs> fiction, Jesus. Okay, that's just kind of cruel. But I guess Luz is down. Uh, wait, where's Gary? Coming. So she's the stick. Wow, poor Gary. So she's the stickler for the You've rules. You've been far too fun. Now stay out. Wow. Damn <laughs> it, he's even madder at me now. I didn't think that was possible. No, nah, when Mittens gets mad, she looks like this. Oh my God, I want to see that. Oh my God, please show me that this episode. Pretty fun, human. I don't want to wait until like so, hey, five episodes for this. Back tonight, there's a certain book we forgot to oh. check out. Oh, Jesus. Bonus, rumor has it the Wailing Star is supposed to unlock some rare magical event. 
Oh you in, no. Friend? Oh sure. no, you're getting manipulated. Friend, meet back here at midnight. Oh See you, Luz. no, Luz. Like, Luz, you're smarter than this. Then I befriend the Amity. I guess. Ah! No. Huh? Oh, there it is! Ooh. Almost passed out. That was adorable. <laughs> Huh, it's I'm curious. Hours. How hmm. can it keep screaming? Uh, I hate. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I find this interesting because <sighs> the Amity thing is just interesting. Like the way they're portraying her is like they're really. From the beginning, to me, they've been signaling this is a, like a a character that is going to be fr be on our side, like long term. She's going to be. I guess she is positioned as the rival, but she's positioned as like the rival that we're going to be like friends and we're going to compete with each other, but we are going to like each other, right? That's the position that Luz and Amity are in, but. They portray her kind of softly as a, an antagonist right away. But when you read into the scenes with her, the episodes with her, it's very clear. Like, it wasn't that clear in the very first scene with her. But even later on in that first episode, which I believe was episode three, um, it was the Abomination episode. It early on to me became very clear that she is just a little misunderstood and that she is just you know, really serious about her craft and she really believes in working hard and doing the best you can and all that stuff. And that's kind of like the big focus of her character. And she, over the time, she's going to respect the effort and the work that Luz puts in to become a, a witch. And and they're, they're going to find common ground there, among other things. You know, that was kind of my general thought. And so far, more or less, that is the direction it's going. Um, but I, I find it weird because it's this like weird thing where it's like she's portrayed on the kind of opposite end but she's never i feel like she her actions aren't really like nothing she's doing is like actually kind of bad it's weird because i can't even say it's like a redemption arc for her character because she's not even like doing anything bad it's really weird and i really like it but i just wanted to kind of like verbalize it a little bit it's really cool what they're doing with amity um Her siblings are sus. Um, they are they are very sus, and ironically enough, the fact that her that that um, that Amity's siblings are gonna like manipulate Luz is probably gonna bring Amity and Luz closer together. And in and in, also in the fact that both Amity and Luz are not gonna like Amity's older brother and older sister. I assume that's who they are. It's pretty clear that's the case. So like, it's ironic, but I think. Ironically enough, by befriending them, you are actually going to get closer to Amity, just not in the way you expect, because you're clearly getting used to lose. But I think the result of this episode um, is going to be good for the relationship of Luz and Amity. But we'll see. Anyways, let's check out more of the sauce. So let me... Yeah, I was like two seconds into a scene, or maybe a little more than that. <laughs> It's been hours. How can it keep screaming? Uh, I oh, hate it too. I'm out of water. I should have refilled my water. The money. But I'll do it after this episode. Mama's night juice. Oh no, the poster. No amount of snails is worth this torture. Make it stop. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to do this. <laughs> rock, rock, maternal gesture. I just had the best day. Cool teens like me. Call me a library book because they were checking me out. That's hot. Aw, sort Peter, of. you look so motherly. Say that again and I steal your tongue. Yes! Aw, how can you say that around this cute little baby? What the ah. fuck? Parenting sure looks rewarding. Enjoy your life lessons. Bye. Yep. I do appreciate this show for, for um, shitting up there. Uh, for the on, money. On, for the money. For the money. I, I, I appreciate this on so many levels. Gotta be cool. As someone who personally is not really that interested cool? in having kids. No. Cool. Keep going, huh? 
This is fun to watch. Oh God. You to bring this whole, uh, whatever you're doing inside? Dude. It says no They think you're a geek. I'm allergic to the rules. And dairy. Wow, okay, just expose me. <laughs> oh my god, I love these two together though, holy shit. Damn, that's sick. Come on. This OST, oh it just stopped. Yeah, that OST reminded me of you Gravity Falls as well. There, the whaling star. I definitely can feel some of the influence of Gravity Falls in this show. Hmm, nothing happened. Wait. The books are all glowy. <laughs> wow. Wow, the Wailing Star magic the books to life. Barely a duchess. Damn, look at fly. And of course you go for the witch one. Now, okay. Graphic novels. Oh, here we go. Nice. Wow. Nice thump. Uh, snowball fight. Okay, this is more wholesome than I thought it would be. I. I might have misread this. Oh, is it this? Oh. You're cute. Meanwhile, at the Owl House. What silence is children? What if we invent a TV network for ages 6 to 11? Oh my That's god. Uh, oh my god. Lines. Great joke there. Great joke. Apple slices and story time. Wow. All right, Brad. Wow. Let's do this. That was a great <sighs> joke. Being parental is making me oh sick. Oh my god, this episode is so great. Odebin spent his days alone amongst the many books he'd It's sung. even four people. With needle and thread, the, the pages, pages he'd mend. But all Yo. the while, he longed for a friend. Friend? Luz, check this out. Look what we discovered. Friend. Aw, cute little Quackster. Oh no. What the fuck? Now he's extra cute. <laughs> Your turn, Luce. I don't know. Come on, don't stop the fun. Wow, this is kind of disturbing. I can't do it. Let me help. Hmm. I don't want to see it. Whatever. We didn't come here just to doodle. Come on. Okay, okay, yeah, let's get to the actual point. And he's coming out. And he might want some revenge. Oh, wow. Boiling Isles romance. That's totally lame. I mean, unless you guys are into it. I think I'm into this one. Oh. Oh. Wow. Um. That's a good book. Yeah? Your clubhouse is like my ultimate secret hideaway. We don't hang out in a library. Uh, teacher, I'm in love with the dictionary. I'm studying wow. the dork arts. Wow, this is the Amity's dork arts. Secret hideaway. Oh! Mittens has gotten too full of herself. Oh, she keeps exposed. tattling on us when we cut class. Yeah. She needs to learn not to mess with people. Oh, like that. shit. So we're going to find her diary. And then post the pages all around school for everyone to what see. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Isn't that taking it a bit too far? No, see, we're her family. It's tough. Wow, wow. Up, lighten up. Wow, okay, that's mm, well, not... I, I don't see any diaries in here. Nope, nothing. Let's just leave. Wait, are those... <gasps> oh my god. Zara books one through four? Oh my god. You get these on the Boiling Isles? So majestic. Is this cover hand-drawn? Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I saw that human girl again. The diary. Oh no. I may have overreacted. I don't want to come off as cruel. I just can't show weakness. No. What have no. you got there, Luz? Oh, n nothing. Just a good witches or a five where <sighs> she goes through her goth phase. Oh, <sighs> uh, well. No, wait. Yeah, magic. 
Oh my god. It's not fair. I'm the only one who knows Ed and M aren't perfect. Why do they keep getting away with things? This, this is it. it. Oh god. Liz, were you hiding this from us? You see how she treats people, how she treats you. I know Amity can be kind of cold, but no one deserves this. These are private thoughts. Let's put it back. Oh man. She needs this. It's oh, for no. her good. Oh no. I wish I had somewhere to go. Why won't the human leave me alone? I called my teacher mom again. Uh, sorry I haven't oh. written for a while. Wait, why am I apologizing? I'm what? Leave me alone. Really? Oh no! It's not what it looks like. <laughs> wow. You two are the worst. But you? I've been trying to she figure was... out what your deal is. Are you a poser? A nerd? I know. You're a bully. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Ben's killed the fun. Isn't that Again. funny? Oh well. We're headed out to go goblin tipping. Wanna come? Goblin You're just gonna tipping. leave? Oh my god, cow yeah, tipping. With you. Look, you guys are cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I need to go talk to Mittens. I mean, oh, wow, wow, wow. All wow. Right. Don't call her Mittens. See you around, cutie. Oh. Uh, bisexual Amity, <laughs> wait first you embarrass me then you want to be my friend um, I, I don't get you pick a side please just listen to me just go away before things somehow get worse oh yeah they're about to get worse i really want to pause again yeah i'm gonna pause again i i feel like man it's weird it's weird it's weird like i'm not i don't pause like i'm in a stretch lately where i don't pause much in videos but i just i don't know this episode i feel like i want to i want to get into it a little more i was really debating waiting until the end of the episode to talk about this but i like how the show is told through loses kind of like pov so you kind of get the vibe of like yeah like amity's portrayed in a certain way because it's kind of from lose loses perspective because she's the protagonist but if you look at the story, and I've talked about this in in the last set, because that was really the only set, uh, but I talked about this in like episode three, episode five, stuff like that. From If you really look at it objectively, Amity pretty much has done nothing wrong. Like I would say, the, probably the most in the wrong she was in was in the very first scene with her, with Willow. And even then it wasn't that bad. But like, she's really not been in the wrong. Like she's... You know, she's she's a little rough in some ways, a little rough around the edges, but she's not doing things inherently wrong. And you can actually see from a reverse perspective, you can see from Amity's perspective how it could honestly feel like Luz is bullying her. Like, that actually is viable. That is a viable perspective that makes sense and is really, really, really cool. I love this. This is, as hyped as I am for, like, the Edelin and Lilith stuff, the Ida and Lily stuff, and, like, what's going on with the Emperor wanting Ida, and that plotline, which is, like, the main narrative arc that is kind of running, that is set up for the future. I think the thing that I've enjoyed the most about this show is the writing of Amity, and, and Amity might be my second favorite character so far just based on her writing, because I think it's brilliant, but I'm really invested in her, because I feel like her writing is just really clean, and I feel like it's very potent and it's very poignant and it makes sense. And this episode is just furthering that development in exactly like it's justifying my opinion on it because it's proving that I'm reading the situation right and I am reading it the way that I should be reading it. And, I, and again, credit to, um, to Dana and everyone else that's involved in the series writing wise for, for, for this character because I'm like really vibing with this character. I'm noticing things. And I'm noticing the things I'm supposed to notice. And I, and I love that. That's great. So I'm really enjoying Amity. And her developing relationship with Luz is really interesting. It's interesting. Let, let, uh, it's really interesting. Because it's like Amity. It's weird because like Amity's the one that's not the friend kind of immediately. But she feels like the most important of Willow, Augustus, and herself. Like Amity feels like the most important like younger character that isn't lose of course so i don't know it's really interesting i like what they're doing a lot i just wanted to take a few moments to talk about that because i'm really enjoying this stuff with her so anyways let's get back into the episode and let's see what happens with the 
I forget his name, but it starts with, uh, with this boy. I don't get you. Pick a side. Please, just listen to me. Just go away before things somehow get worse. Huh? Would have been fangs and breaking bones. I found a friend to make my own. Jesus, <laughs> are the is the diary pages gonna start popping up? Are you gonna make Azura? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus! Why Turning are you into doing a book this? character? I've been reading you since I was a kid. I know you're not like this. Someone changed you. But friends are what I've always sought, and now a friend my claws have caught. Oh my god, is it gonna be Azura? Oh my god, Azura? Or is it Luz? Azura? Close. Is it drawn okay? I kind of interpreted the descriptions. Luz? Ah, right. The good witch Lazora grabs her trust. Lazora! Wow. Wow. All right. Beloved work of children's fiction. Let go of her! Wow. Ah! Um, um. <clears throat> wow! Best fight scene of all time! Wow. <laughs> Not an Azura fan, are you? And you're joining him. Taking friends never be without my friends. Jesus. You fiend! You can't rhyme friends with friends. Great work, Lazura. Wow. Hey, <laughs> Lizura. I'm trying to save you. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be stuck together forever. Huh? Wait, are you gonna no, turn the page? Follow my lead. One. What are you doing? Two. Three. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Nice. Now what? I don't know. I didn't even think that would work. I was all like, Rah! <laughs> There you go. Oh my god, that smile is adorable. I think you get saved by... Oh, yeah, she could... Maybe, oh, I was thinking maybe she could do some sort of magic, but she's not that powerful yet. I keep, I, I, I'm almost waiting for the bro and sis to show up and you save them, but... Just scream and shout, but friendship always will win out. Oh, wow. Damn, that's some MLP freaking, um, sauce. Oh, that's cool. Third dimension, how I've missed you. We must stay friends until the end. <laughs> there is no tear. I cannot mend. That's dark. Oh. Ah! Ah! Wow. <gasps> Luce has to right a wrong. Luce, quick! I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Aww. Hey, it's okay. We're still friends. Aww. There you go. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> Bonding, though. What an adventure. Thanks for helping clean up. This never happened. Yeah, of Wait, course. It doesn't make up for reading your diary, but would you want to borrow this? I noticed you only had up to four. Thank you. Maybe you aren't a bully. I haven't exactly been the friendliest oh. witch either. True. I'll think on that. Yeah. I'll think on that. Who says that? That is such a line for such a nerd and such a character that I would love. I'll think on that. What the fuck? Hope you guys get your cha-ching. Bat queen? Bat queen? Oh, Bat Queen! Whoa. Hello. You must be Mama. You, you. Mama is I, and I is the Bat Queen. Shh. 
Creepy. Ah, snuggle dumplings. <laughs> Ew. For troubles, Ida is old one. Nice. That's a lot of cha -ching. Oh, sweet babies. Oh. Babies? Where are the babies? Oh. oh I just taught Junior how to pick locks, too. Wow. Your night looks very successful. Look at all that money you made. And look at this cool whistle that scary woman gave you. I'd wash it before you use it. I would definitely yeah. wash it. We did it all for the money. I miss my babies! Aww. I actually got you something from the library. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, kid. So how was your night? Good, then bad, then Because she's an owl. Hey, you want to hear about my night? Oh, no. no. That's not a thing anyone ever wants. Fuck you, Hootie. <laughs> oh, that was a good episode. That was a good episode. Oh, Willow. What, it, Willow just has, like, the funniest face in that shot of the ED. All right. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, that was uh, season one, episode seven of the Owl House. That was Lost in Language. Yeah, the title makes sense. Um, but yeah, that was really good. That was really good. Did I like that more than the last one? Probably, I think, because that had a lot of really good stuff with Amity and Luz, which. As excited as I am for Ida and Lilith and, like, where they go with it long term, without a doubt, I think, like, the interactions I'm most invested in are Amity and Luz. Uh, just because Amity, I think, is, like, the most interesting character in the show. Like, I think it's just pretty... <laughs> I can just plainly say, like, so far she's the most interesting. Now, Ida's still my favorite character, but it's getting close really fast. I really like Amity a lot. Um, I think by the end of season one, there's a good chance Amity will be my favorite character. Um, I just really like her arc. I, I like her design a lot. Um, I think she's like has a really cool design, and she's just really cool. I really like her, and I really am enjoying her sauce. And Luz is cool. I don't know exactly where I stand with our protagonist, uh, but she's really fun. I definitely like her a lot. I don't know if she's like third favorite or if she's further down the list but i do like her quite a bit but i definitely would say ida and amity are my two standout characters so far uh but i do like Luz. um so yeah that was a good episode it was interesting we got um again the main focus of this episode because i mean the b plot was just that uh king and ida had to take care of some bat babies for the bat queen and make make a shit ton of money which is the reason they were doing it but by the end of it they got attached which uh, very cute um, still really funny though. Like we're doing this for the money, <laughs> for the money. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, but the A plot was about, um, Amity and Luz. And we also met Amity's older siblings, her older brother, her older sister, who are a little douchey. Um, or I guess a little douchey in the case of big bro and a little bitchy in the case of big sis. But, um, they, 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 they are cool. And, and, and that's why they're cool. They're pretty. They get away with anything. Um, not sure if I'm reading a little too much into it or what, but it, I did find it interesting that Luz, there was a moment where, like, Big Bro kind of, like, did a little, like, flirting with Luz, which, a little weird. Um, I don't know my age is here, but, it, but okay. But that happened, and it was kind of like, and she, she, like, blushed. She was like, oh, man, oh, man, that was kind of hot. And there was another moment where Big Sis, still flirting, you know, called her cutie or whatever. And then, and she was like, oh shit, that's kind of hot. So, I don't know, I don't know what that's necessarily implying, but, uh, interesting. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting for a couple reasons, actually. Um. I mean, I, I mean, I made the, the the comment when it happened, but the more I think about it, that actually makes me think about something else, which I'm not going to call that out until I get anything. I don't feel like there's been anything yet, but just the way that like shows like this go, 
I feel like there's a ship. I'm not going to say the characters, but I feel like there's a ship that, given how shows go, it might get there over time, and I think that would be very interesting. I'm not going to comment. I'm not, I'm not there yet, but depending on where those two characters go, I could see potentially, potentially that being a thing. But we'll see. We'll see. I think you guys know who I'm talking about, but... I don't know. That'd be interesting. Um, I would probably be down for that, but I'd have to see how that goes. But no, that was a really fun episode. Definitely enjoyed it quite a bit. I don't have a ton to say. I kind of talked about, in this episode, I kind of talked about the things I wanted to talk about when I paused in the episode, because I think I paused twice in this episode, unless the pause, I don't even know. I'm pausing a little bit in this reaction. So uh, next episode's called Once Upon a Swap. So um, obviously, uh, Eda's going to be selling stuff, and... Maybe even be maybe she'll be telling a story about something that happened one time when she was selling stuff. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever the case may be, it should be interesting. I'm I'm excited to see where this goes. So um, yeah, time for more Owl House. Let's check out episode eight. Alrighty, let's check out season one, episode eight of the Owl House. Once upon a swap in three, two, one, and play. Stupid flag! We've been a little slow around here, but I've got just the thing to attract customers. And who doesn't like their name in life? Nice. Is it too subtle? Does subtle mean ugly? Damn. Hi, Basha, hexidians. Basha. See anything you like? Ew, no. I'm just here to take an ironic pentagram next to your weird flashing trash sign. Wow, nice duck face. It's not funny, Basha. Well, what are you gonna do? Spit your human venom on me? You have venom? Quick, loose! Start melting faces! Even if I could, it's not worth it. You wouldn't understand how to handle teens like her. Wow. No, I'll show you what to do. You will tremble before me! Oh, they're so cute! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! That actually How was much? cute. I have to own him. You couldn't afford me, sister. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they like that. Reaction. Wow. I smell an easy mark. Oh god. Hey kid, can I offer you the latest fashions from the human Oh my god, realm? Canada. Yeah. Wait, no, that was like I think a Russian. <laughs> well, what I hate her. Wow. Yeah, teens can be sour, but I'm a little sweetie. Look what I made you. Okay, so they are actually Lose. on the older side. Did I spell something wrong, or did I spell something right? Stop that. You may be forgetting something, Luz. I'm a I'm fugitive. Kind of on the run, remember? Yeah. Every guard in town would be at my doorstep if I had my name in lights. Well, I don't see anyone right now. Maybe you're just being paranoid. You're a powerful witch. Why hide when you can poof all your problems away with magic? What does Luce know about problems anyway? All she has is dumb teen drama. Yeah, she that's true. She understand how hard some of us have it. That You're is actually true. You're like a dang baby. How hard is that life? Well, I don't know if you realized, but I'm not a baby! Then why are you wow. screaming like one? My wow. life is a living nightmare! Wow. Well, there's only one thing to do when friends can't see I I feel bad for Bill. This is what happened to him after we were dead. No. Body swap! Oh god. Oh Are you sure no. You don't shoot venom? Oh no. Oh no. Not a body swap episode. This is like one of my least favorite tropes. God damn it. Why does every cartoon have to do it at some point? Fuck me. I'm sure the episode will be fine, but I'd only want a body swap if it was Luz and Amity. If they body swapped, I'd be high. Just because I feel like that could really... I feel like specifically for those characters, it could really perpetuate their... Um, not perpetuate. I mean, well, yeah, it could perpetuate an under, a greater understanding, a but it would progress slot. their story well. It's like demonic no. possession with the ones you love. We are doing that? No. That's possible? This no. This is just like my favorite early no, Dana. movie. Freaky Friday. Oh my god, Freaky Friday. Uh, maybe we should think about this for a second. Fucking Lindsay Lohan. Ooh. No! Did it work? I need a mirror. Oh, she's gonna be Eda. Okay. Wow. Found one. 
Oh my gosh, it worked! I'm so old and pointy. Damn. Hot dog, it's me! Yeah, it is. I'm the human now. Bow before my massive meaty hands. Wait, so that means... <clears throat> What the fuck? What the How do fuck? I look? I've got some very confusing emotions right now. I bet you do. All right, here's the deal. Whoever can prove their new body has the easiest life gets out of house cleaning duty. And you know what that means. <laughs> Fucking Hootie. What the fuck? <laughs> Why, Hootie? Why? <laughs> Won't be me. Life as a teen is a tyrant's dream. By the end of the day, I'll be ruling over your feeble demographic. Well, I've got magic. Eat up. Don't be too mad when your inventory's gone and the guards are none the wiser. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's cute. If you need me, I'll be getting pampered on a vacation fit for a king. Ha 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 ha. But yours is bad. <laughs> oh, wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? I do not approve of this. What the? Edith's catastrophe. Oh, hello. So adorable. Yes, hello to you too, handsome. Stop right there! Oh, Warden Wrath. An Emperor's Guard. Thought you could get away with it, didn't you? Wait, you, you know who I am? Of course I do. You're the cutest little angel I've ever seen. Who wants a lolly? Ha! That's more like it. You got nothing. <laughs> Whew. Being king is a walk in the park. I'm gonna win this bet for sure. What? Uh oh. Daddy, yeah. Look at this lost little dumpling. Oh, What's no. that? Whoa! Hey, I'm not lost, you creeps. Oh, baby. Oh, Do no. you need us to make you a delicious meal? No, I don't need your tummy scratches. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I am lost. Take wow. me away, ladies. Wow. So far, so good, but I get the feeling they're gonna be, like, creepers. Like, those ladies are gonna be evil as fuck. Welcome to our kitty cafe. This is our little safe haven for okay. children like you. Okay. This looks cute so far. What hot mess is going down here? You see, precious cargo like you should be taken care of. Huh? Oh. All you should have to worry about is how many belly rubs you want, or how many tasty num nums you're gonna eat. Num -nums. Well, my creep alarm is ringing, but yeah. can't argue with num nums. Big, big creep this alarm. This place is a safe place. A place. I wouldn't eat those cupcakes. The they might be drugged. And those teenagers who filth in it. You have a good nap, my dear. No dearest. teens. Um, meow. To your new home. Oh, creepy. Ha! Oh, being adorable is the life. Time for a nap. Oh no. That's a bad idea. Leave this place. Ah! Danger is near. Baby demon, we have a surprise for you. Oh no. Ah, uh, you hear that, bow tie? Ow! There's a new star in town. A gift for our new cutest demon. Okay, I'm out. Novelty costumes are where I draw the line. Dottie, please help our little angel get changed. Uh... Oh no, sweetie. You can't survive out there without us. Also, please stand moon back. butterflies. I, not VA. I, I just caught that one. Uh, oh dang, I'm not a witch right now. No, baby. You're a cutie patootie. What the Not fuck? Not today, sister. No! <laughs> Let us in this instant. What the it fuck? It's not time for you to be there. Stop wow. babying me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, what the fuck? This vacation just took a those real animals that are like... Tasty num nums. Ooh. Don't bother. Their minds are tragically gone. They've been coddled so long they forgot how to live on their own. Their brains turned to mush. Jeez, I thought I'd like being babied, but it feels so small and helpless, like some sort of baby. Yeah, that, won't that is us, how baby right? works. Oh. I failed you, Bowtie. My closest ally. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> That's great. What the fuck? I'll avenge you, Bowtie. Yeah! 
nice, nice. Uh, that's your opening. Can you fit through that? Yeah, you can, okay. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How did that happen? Now everyone can see our bestest baby forever. Oh god. Yeah, that was a mistake. Now it's time for so King Lose to get fucked. I feel so alive. King's brush with death. Nice. So I guess. Oh, okay, so it's, the, it's like the episode titles. It's like within the episode, there's Edith's Catastrophe, King's Brush with Death, and whatever Luz's journey will be. Help me! I'm a delicate man! Nice. Teenagers. <laughs> what the hey, fuck? Hey, take this, society! Oh, no. Wow. Oh, no. Oh no. Just give up. I swear I can do a I like the pictures I'm on the wall though. The guy with the the, the, the four hands and the guitar. I'll show Luce and how to the, rule the over singer these girl. Greetings! Er, greetings! Bow before your king of humans! Hey, nobody tells me what to do. Ugh, shut it. Sorry, Barsha. New post. Luz or human thinks she can hang out in her sacred treasure shack. Spoiler alert, she can't. Yeah, get out of here, goody two shoes. Goody two shoes, huh? Whoa! Direct. Wow! Just straight up jack. Just straight up jack in their hey, shit. Kid. Impressionable youths. Under my command, you can learn how to do some real damage. What the fuck? All hail your new teen king! I didn't like her telling me what to do before, but now I love it. Wow. Wow. Who wants to revolt with me today? Yeah, you're the what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I'll catch up. Wow, Hold poor up. guy. I did not give you permission to leave. All right, you acne encrusted hormone buckets. What the fuck? Acne encrusted hormone buckets. What the hell is a song? I swear to God, if we get like a Louis song or an Amity song, or if anyone has an actual song in this show, I'll come. Yeah, help Ray. Yeah, help Ray. Let's go water myself. Let's go. I love the Raven calls. That's cool. talking about this life is a breeze <laughs> enough i don't know why they can't remember what a weirdo loser you are but i'm gonna help them remember Ooh, i'm so scared <laughs> she still thinks she has power over you guys guys loose i challenge you to a race around dead man's curve oh <gasps> and we'll be racing on those Giant what rat worms. the fuck? You don't have to do this, you know. We know humans are like super fragile. Don't baby me! Uh, Roger, yeah. I accept your yeah, strange Kings. teenage coming of age challenge thing. <laughs> don't make it sound way stranger than it is. It's just stupid. It's not. It's not gay or anything. Don't worry. On your mark. Onion rings. I'm gonna assume yes, yes. those are like. Funyuns or, or onion rings or something. Uh, go. Let's go. Worm minion, I said go. Stop! I said stop! Wow. <laughs> That's so funny though. King's like baby complex thing that he has is pretty funny. Makes sense though. This is how the cool kids ride. Super backwards, on purpose. <laughs> Yes! Say bye bye to your popularity, Basha! Bye bye! <gasps> ah! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now! Not the treasure shack! I don't know how to process this! Someone tell me what to do! Get her! Wow. 
Well, you made enemies of the cool kids. At least Amity's not in this episode. And you're not gonna fuck up the complexity of your relationship with, uh... With, uh, Amity. Oh no. Oh no. The team has come to steal our little babies! No! Ironically, I, I am a little baby! <laughs> no, you're not! You're a rotten teen! But when we finish with you, you'll be calling for your mother! What the fuck? Lady, Those I are like chopsticks, right? Back. You can have it. Your life is pretty terrible. But hey, it'll probably be over soon. What the fuck? Okay, let's try this again. You know, Ida. And strut, strut, strut. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Loses, deals, and heals. Oh, Ida, wear these all day. That's a good point. Oh, no. I can't say what I have experience, done? unfortunately, but. Wait a second. I'm a ding dang witch. Whoa. Wow. Boy, Ida is powerful. Let's try this one more time. What the <gasps> fuck? I made magic with my hands! Oh, so unnecessarily extravagant. I'll take it. Zippo Swapo. Sold to the savvy shopper. Okay, magic hands. Let's see what else we can magically magic. Oh no. Step right up and feast your eyes Either on the, the marvels of the human realm. Oh, oh my god, that hat. Yes. Where did the other stand go? Also, that was the Bill well, Cypher pose. Right, and I forgot what I came here for. I made a Bill was joke earlier. Boy. That was Laughter. literally the Bill pose. <laughs> Even had the top hat. So painful. I'll take two for my enemy. Wow. <laughs> nice. Anime boy, anime centaur boy. Thank you, come again. There is a little something for everyone. Take it from me, Ida, the Boiling Isles gift to magic. Is that right? You're the famous Ida the Owl Lady? Oh that no. Depends. Is that Wrath? Are you a fan of magic? No, but I am I a am fan of Wrath. The law! Yeah. <laughs> We were finally able to catch you in the act, all thanks to this little light show of yours. Gentlemen, what do you say we forgot this whole thing ever happened? Amnesia spell! Oh. I haven't quite got the hang of this yet. And you're at the precinct! Oh my god, why is that a thing? This is some of my best work. It really captures the shame. Aww. <laughs> Jesus. You're going away for a long time, you filthy criminal. Yeah, that's not good. Albert! This is all a big mistake. You're gonna oh my lie god, when I the explain, interrogation. Huh? <gasps> is it really her? Oh, no. oh, is this Lilith? This is not good. Oh hey, my god. You gotta take that thing is this Lilith? Oh! Like Calms the nerves. Hmm? Uh, Madam Lilith, to what do we owe this honor? Word reached me that you captured my Wow, sister. this is actually getting plot here. relevant, maybe. But madam, she's time? going straight to the conformatorium. I have the order right here. The orders have changed. Look, guys, you got the wrong Ida. Hello, Edelin. Oh, thank goodness, a familiar face. You're Ida's sister, right? Is it Libby? No. Limby? Your show of affection is touching. Do you know why you're here? Well, as I was telling the guard, this is just a classic Freaky Friday mix-up. Sister, the charges against you are long and many. Let's Operating see if she learns anything. Without a permit, owning okay. a hocus without a pocus. Yeah, what the fuck? I think hocus that list goes on for a while. These charges are serious. I was wondering if we were going to learn no anything really away, bad that she's done. I know. I can't just poof my problems away. But we can. Oh, you getting caught was clearly a cry for help. Wow. Join the Emperor's Coven, like wow. we dreamed about when we were girls. Ida wanted to be in the Emperor's Coven? Don't be afraid, sister. Soon you won't be a danger to those around you. Bring out the branding glove. Oh, Jesus! Oh, what Jesus! Now? Oh, God! Wait, you're making a mistake! I'm not a danger to anyone! Uh-oh. 
Jesus! <coughs> well, time Albert, to run. Come to me. And, damn, Albert Sorry, loves buddy. to smack you in the Peter's face. Life is more complicated than I thought. Of course it is. You actually got to see a glimpse of that, and now Lily's even more okay, pissed. If I were Ida and Ida is king, where would I be? Ah, this thing's so confusing. After yeah. Her. If I was Ida and Ida was king, yeah, there they are. Bring my dang body over here, Ida. Oh look, Dotty, it's not kidnapping if they entered our store. Just think of it as good customer service. It is very good customer service. Why did our lamp get unnecessarily extravagant? <gasps> Hi. Go go go! Nice. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have to catch Ida up to what happened. It was kind of funny. What did you get my body into? There she is. I got the same question. Dang, I forgot about them. All right, did everybody learn a valuable lesson about experiencing each other's hardships? Yes. Yep. Good. Let's end this nightmare. Body swap! Wow, those outfits. My body! My glorious Wow, that body. outfit. Nice. Sister, time and again I've offered you my help, yet you foolishly run back to your worthless life. I'm tired of trying, Edelin. Your days of running are over! Thanks, Luz. Sorry. Don't worry, I got this. Body swap! Oh my god, can I do it to the rest of them? Ida, you rotten sister! Switch me back! What's happening? Who the heck are you? I'm a coven guard, wise mouth! No, you're not! I am! Oh my god, those voices. Fine! Ow! My knees. Damn. Hey, ow. This is your fault. Let go. What the fuck? Talk about causing chaos. Are they gonna be okay? No, they're not. Ida. The answer is no. We're just running with it. Things can be more complicated than you think, but with you guys, it all feels a little less mixed up. No. Oh. oh, that's sweet, kid. Now let's never speak of this again. Yeah, we definitely want to never speak of this again. Wow. So wait. That was an interesting episode. Hootie. It's getting dire. Guys, today's my month Gross. of bleeding, Hoot Hoot. I'm 20% mucus, but don't let that stop you. Come on, Ew. I have so many hard to reach spots that need swapping. Ew. Maybe if we all work together, we could. Not it. Oh man. Get fucked. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, that was episode eight of Owl House. Um, that one was good. That one was good. I enjoyed it, but nah, I thought that one. Uh, I don't want to be biased. Okay, like I'm trying. I'm trying to look at it objectively. I think that episode was a bit on the weaker side. I don't think it was the weakest episode of the series necessarily, but I thought it was a little weaker than the la the previous ones have been. Um, I definitely think that that episode didn't quite hit as well as some of the others. Um, I thought there was some really good stuff. I was not expecting to see Lilith in that episode. Uh, it was funny. I made the comment of, like, luckily Amity's not in this episode because, you know, I wouldn't want um, King to mess up Luz and Amity's developing relationship. Well, we didn't get that with King messing up Luz and Amity's relationship, but we did a tiny bit with Luz messing up I think I said Luz messing up King and Amity. I meant King messing up Luz and Amity. You know what I mean. But Luz messing up Ida and Lily's uh, relationship a little bit. But to be fair, she didn't really change anything. It was just another moment of defiance and all that sauce. So it was kind of more of the same, if anything. But no, that was a good episode of The Owl House. I really enjoyed it. Um... Not a big fan of the concept. I don't like body swapping episodes uh, in these type of shows. I think they ever. It feels like every cartoon does this concept, and it's just so. It's so cliche. It's done in every fucking show like this. I mean, I mean, I talk about Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls did it. Um, I, I mean, so many shows have done it, and it's just like whatever. It's just not a concept that I'm interested in really at all. I'm not saying it's always bad or whatever, but I feel like it's always cookie cutter. It's always about the same message. It's always about, oh, you don't realize how hard other people have it until you live a, walk a mile in their shoes. You know, it's always that lesson. Uh, and I just didn't, 
like it's just whatever like it's like i've seen it so many times it's like okay i mean like it's always the same story it's been done to death it is what it is it was an okay episode it was a fine episode i just it, it's one of those tropes that's just so overplayed at this point and the fact that we're still doing this in every fucking cartoon it's just like why <laughs> um so yeah i mean i'm not uh, I, 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 I didn't actually think once upon a swap, I didn't think body swap because like they're, they're the, the place is kind of like a swap of like, you know, of sorts. So I didn't necessarily think body swap, but of course it was a body swap and I like how it was structured, how it was quote unquote three episodes in one kind of reminded me of uh terror tales of the park for anyone who's seen regular show. It was structured a little bit like that. I thought that was kind of cool. And like I said, Lilith being in the episode was interesting. There was definitely some interesting things, but it's not like we got any revelations. It wasn't... I, I was hoping when there was that little interrogation between Lilith and Ida, what I was hoping was, was Lilith would say one of the things that Ida did, something that um, Luz was not aware of, that would be, like, shocking and, and would and would maybe set up episode nine with, like, you know, what was that about? And we could have a conversation, maybe get into Ida backstory or something. I thought that could have been a cool transition to make this episode feel a little more important. Uh, but when it comes down to it, this episode just felt like an episode, uh, and, which is fine. I don't mind having episodes that are just there, but it definitely was not an episode I loved. I still thought it was enjoyable, but it wasn't anything too special. Um, and I've been pretty impressed with the episode so far. So, you know, it it being a below average episode of Owl House, still, man, it was fine. But yeah. We have one more episode left in the video. We got episode nine, which is called Something Ventured. I'm going to assume Something Ventured, Something... Something Ventured, Something Framed. I, I thought we were just going for the normal, like, Something Ventured, Something Gamed. But no, it's Something Ventured, Something Framed. Very interesting title. Last episode of the set. And involving a frame job, it seems like. Huh. This could be about a few people. Could be Ida, could be Luz, could possibly be Amity, maybe, uh, or Willow, or whatever, but I would imagine my initial gut is to say that something ventured, something framed is talking about Ida, but we'll have to see. I'm, I'm curious. I, I'm excited to see what this episode is about. That's an interesting title. Should be fun. So, yeah. I'm enjoying the show. It's crazy to think we're halfway through. I mean, after this episode, we're basically halfway through um, season one because we'll be nine out of 19, which, you know, half of 19 is nine and a half. So more or less, we will be halfway through uh, season one of the Owl House, which is pretty exciting. And halfway through the reaction since, you know, split into six videos and this is video three. So... Um, in, in more ways than one, we're essentially halfway through Owl House um, after this episode, which is really exciting. But uh, again, given the fact that June 12th is the season two premiere, there is more Owl House right around the corner. And in all likelihood, we will be directly transitioning from Owl House season one reactions to Owl House season two reactions, which should be a lot of fun. But anywho, I'm going to jump in to episode nine something ventured something framed really excited for what this could be about and uh yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say so i'll see you guys in a flash with that episode peace hello everybody we're back final episode of the set episode nine of the owl house something ventured something framed very interesting title also it's the end of a set so probably going to be a spicy episode so let's check it out in three two one and play Okay, so we're at Hex side. Behold, the wonders of the human realm. Um, this little fella's one of the paper, most valued objects. Well, it aids in the compiling of printed wisdom, the scratching of gunk from under your nails, and my favorite, it even mimics the sounds of the human ocean. Ah, the human really. realm. So beautiful. It's safe to say that the paper clorp is a stunning paper testament clorp. to human ingenuity. Any questions? Our newest member, Matholomew. Augustus, is this what the president of the Human Appreciation Society thinks passes as human artifacts? Because at my old school, we had real treasures. <gasps> so wow. real. I, I want to wow. touch them. 
go ahead. And they're all In fake. In my club, we didn't have any dumb rules. <gasps> no Can role playing as humans. See the human hey. fantasy club down the hall? I gotta go back. I gotta well, go back. I have to read it. I have to read it. <gasps> Stop asking about human blood and the rest of it isn't really readable. Turn in. Yeah, no, I can't read the rest of it. That's disappointing. You didn't mean that. Hey! What? Ah! Well, this isn't your club, thankfully. Exactly. Who thinks I should be president? I don't know. Metholomew for press. I'm an undecided voter. Wow. I'm gonna no, touch all the objects no, 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 no. first. Wow, undecided voter. These are fakes. What? Th th you can't prove that. You're just trying to distract these human appreciators. You're afraid of getting kicked out of office. It's your word well, versus mine. Well, know he knows a human. I don't know what to believe in anymore. My faith in Gus has been broken. What if I brought in an expert? Yeah, right. Who can you find that's a bigger human expert than any of us? How about a real human? <laughs> Why the secrets? Show, don't tell, man. Yeah, uh-huh. And you've never brought your friend here. Why? Well, she's busy. She's got a job. But I'll bring her in tomorrow. She'll prove I'm right. <laughs> uh, sure you will, Augustus. Sure you will. Yeah, this might get a little complicated because she is banned from the school. So let's see how we go about this. This should be interesting. But it looks like we're getting a uh, Gus-focused episode. I can, I can get down with that. I'm probably going to record something else after this. I don't know if it's going to be more Owl House, JoJo Part 2 Finale, uh, Team Titan Season 4 Finale. I have options. Nisei Monogatari premiere. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna record something else after this, though. I think. I might just stick with Al House, just to keep it in Gus, theme. I'd love to go to school. With you, yeah, and there's the band picture. Yeah. Principal Bump banned me from Hexide. But nothing. Bump did you a favor. There ain't nothing for you at that Dweebus factory. Wow. No offense, Dweebus. Wow. It's okay. I come from a long line of Dweebuses. Nice. Well, I would love to go someday. Better than unpacking boxes in the Eda Coven. Oh, you're the Eda Coven, huh? Oh, fight, fight, fight! Can it, King? First off, it's the Bad Girl Coven. And hey. second off, I guess you don't want in on the T-shirt order, huh? Damn. I don't care. That about is actually badass as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Magic, and they I bet, I bet someone's side. made that, and I, I mean, probably should get yeah. one. Well. Gah. I don't want to hear another word about Hexide, unless it's Hexide is on fire, and let's grab front row seats. I mean, I am a bad girl, after all. We we have discussed oh, this at did. length in other I'm gonna go videos. rub it in. <laughs> or at least the girl part. Loose uh, about the ban. I, uh, use my HAS presidential authority to pull some strings. You've been given a full pardon. You mean... I got the ban lifted. Oh Liar. Yes! Be there tomorrow. Gus, this will be great. I get to see the school and save the president. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, you're a liar. Yes. You're literally you did, a liar. Gus. You did, Gus. You're the smartest. You're the best. Sweet moves, little dude. Ah, I always forget you're there. I forget I'm here too. I bet you do, Hootie. Boop. This is gonna work out after all. This isn't gonna work out at all. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I took care of any potential problems. You lied to our best friend and told her you got the ban lifted. That seems like a potential problem to me. You don't understand. The members were going mad. They were bloodthirsty. They were touching objects. I had no choice. Really? What about all the wanted posters around school? What wanted posters? Damn. I also got this to keep her undercover. Undercover from what? <laughs> Behold your new cowl. Whoa, I love it. Nice. On the boiling aisles, new things smell old. Yep, wow. put it on. Hide your ears. <laughs> Want to keep you under wraps till the big reveal. Wow. Oh, a showman. I totally get it. You bring the razzle. I bring, the, bring dazzle. the dazzle. Yes, sir. Do you always have confetti on you? Or... Yes, sir. <laughs> Nice clock. That's my alarm. 
Yeah, uh, I can tell. See you after school, Willow. Bye, uh, I should have said watch, I guess. Make Don't make good choices. I hope you know what you're doing. Although use a I'm condom if to you her. go down Exide that route. up anything unique and spits out bland mush. I chew insects. I turn them into mush. What the fuck? But that's my beef. Does she need to draw her own conclusions? My beef is insects. They're what I eat. You're just gonna be unhelpful, huh? Oh, I know is you taught me, and I turned out just fine. Oh God. Oh God. I gotta get that girl into school. Yeah. I mean, given the fact that the, the principal seems to be pretty directly associated with the Emperor's Coven, I don't know how well that would work. Oh, God. Oh, God. No detention! The only thing I'm guilty of is being too real! Wow. That's new? Well, they kind of showed up after your last visit. They smell trouble, literally. Trouble. Ha ha ha, okay, time to run for no particular reason. Augustus, you should really watch where you're going. Don't want the president of the HAS getting hurt on his last day in office. This must be your human? Hmm. Looks like another witchling to me. Psst, psst. Dazzle! Oh. <laughs> Ta da! Yep. A human? Not just any human, an expert human. Yeah. I've been doing this for years. She's here to authenticate your treasures. Uh oh. Rut row. Rut row. No, 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 no. They can't know I lied. Then they'll never make me president. Why do you uh, care that much? Oh, fuck. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, Gus, I have you now. This is like a real game of a. Ugh. I had this. Cat and mouse. Before. I guess human and elf. I don't even know what they're. They are witches, I guess. members. But as a Gus, I feel like doing this. Gus does like to dance. The um actually award. Yeah, who did get the most bones trophy? That seems like a pretty valid trophy. Give me a full tour. Yeah, next time. <laughs> oh, it's the Abomination Professor. I should introduce myself. Apologize for the incident. Hey, Mr. Abomination Professor. The Abominominator. Remember me? <laughs> oh, wouldn't you know? We suddenly have time for a full tour of Exide. Wow. Been quite a while since I've sat here, huh? Oh, my God. Oh my god. I gotta admit, it's extra weird without you yelling at me for picking fights or stealing. I can wow. easily change that. Wow. Wow. What are you doing here, Edelin? Wow. I want to... I want to enroll my human loose at Hexide. And before you get all judgy... That's not a bad idea. You know good... Wait, really? I think the student body could learn a lot from having such an exchange student. But, before I even consider that, there's a lot to be answered for. Wow. 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 All right. Wow. Yeah, I heard all about that abomination incident. Oh, I'm not talking about loose. Talking about I'm you. talking about the necrotic experiments. The graffiti, the scams, the cheating, Miss Jenkinmeyer's teeth. Oh, what? The trouble you caused when you were here, Ida. Of course. Jesus. Edelyn Clawthorne, we know her last name. I thought there'd be more. This is where we play the sport. The sport. Ah! It's literally the sport. Why is there a griffin? And a basketball hoop, okay. Ooh, what's in here? The plant homeroom. Willow probably spends a lot of time in there now. Yeah, there she is. Ew. Willow, hey. Uh, uh, hi. Hi. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> and this is where I spend my time. The illusion track homeroom. Yeah, we really. Damn, nice. 
What the fuck? And you're gonna be a little more confident? I like them. You're here. Not sure if that's a guy Who's or a girl. That? That's one of my illusions. Takes notes for me when I'm not around. <gasps> he doesn't always do what he's told. Wow, guys, you're good. Yeah, I moved up a couple grades. Nice. Okay, so he's pretty powerful oh, too. Okay, so yes, me. We got illusion boy. We got uh, illusion boy. We got plant girl. And Jesus. You better start taking notes, boy. Human! 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 Human, human appreciation society. It is my nice paper pleasure to introduce to you. Nice moonwalk! Oh, you almost Who's nailed it. The human! Such showmanship. She's horrifying. She is pretty horrifying. I'm not going to give him that. Luce, will you inspect the items? Of course, Mr. President. Allow me to determine if they're truly of my realm's origin. Stop! Don't make another move, human! I have something to say. I'm new here at Hexide. Making friends has been hard, so I lied. They're all fakes. Yep. Good to get out of get ahead of it. If I was important enough, people would like me. But I've caused enough drama. So I'll go. I'm sorry. Hey man. It's okay. You're only human. Well, well not. You know what I mean. Bethlehem, yeah. you aren't alone. You have a place here in yeah. the HAS. You're not we alone. We admire your honesty. You're one of us. Yeah, there Thanks, you go. Guys, I knew you'd understand. All right. Uh, oh no. Okay. I actually, don't wholesome. Do this. There's the whiny rebel teen I remember. <laughs> You'll need this oh to clean God. up all the hexed graffiti you left us. It's still there. Hoot hoot. <laughs> eat a rules. Bump eat stink. What the fuck? Mother no. Thanks for coming. Come back soon. <laughs> well, she has a crush. Loose. Thank you for being so forgiving. We've all been the new kid before, right, Gus? Yeah. Well, I just have one thing to say. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. There she is. She's the intruder. Trouble. No, it's fine. The ban's been lifted. Tell him, Gus. Ah! Gus! Tell them! Oh, who's the liar now, Augustus? <laughs> Yeah, he's got you there, Augustus. Maybe I've been too hard on Gus. I mean, what trouble could they get into? Oh, a lot. A lot. A lot. Right on cue. Detention. Oh, that won't be so bad, right? Oh, just wait. What demonic shit? I can't believe you two fell for that. Like, I'd actually apologize. Now, are you about to what punch him? What did you do? Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry. I'm the new kid. I want friends. Ha! <laughs> no, I want power. And I want drama. And I got one of those right now. So nice. what are you gonna do, Holy Mr. Shit. President? Oh! Executive action. Oh. Ow! Yeah, I went... Pull the alarm! It was Augustus! Are you even listening to me? I demand justice! Not the worst idea, though, I'm not gonna lie, Gus. Wait! Get me out of here! Open up! Loose! Gus! You said the ban was lifted! Well, I. Lies! What in the shit? That is one way to. Do detention, I guess. Meanwhile, Ida, ready to commit seppuku. There, the girls' changing room is ghost-free. Are you ready to give up? You've barely scratched the surface. No, like this. is the real magic oh my god they're just as bad my as little loose. pony she'd love it here yeah i know right whoa all right whoa so what's next those what's two next? i don't know i don't think friendship is what those two were mm. getting up to that was a Who look this, detention? this is a death sentence i don't know i've never been in detention before welcome to my world 
Believe it or not, at my old school, I was in detention plenty of times. Nice. It's hard to believe. You're kind of a jerk. Wow. Well, down in detention, this jerk is king. So if you want to get out, you better do exactly what I say. First, you're about to get you, right? Else, we got to or you're gonna start acting like a pussy? Yeah, you're gonna get uh, eaten. Already? Wow. Of you. Well, he's fucked. You lied to me. You lied about the ban. Why? I was afraid. I acted stupid. Yes, you did. Yes. Being younger than everyone is hard. You're overlooked, mm. ignored. But at the HAS, I matter. I can make sure no one would ever get left behind. I didn't want to lose that. No. I'm sorry. I get it. I just wish you told me the truth. Fair enough, Gus. Let me make it up to you, Luce. I've got a plan. Well, you better hurry up. I'm in. Where do we start? Not just stand there like a but dumbass. No one behind. Okay. All right. will be a good student. Jesus. You know, it didn't taste as bad as I thought it would. Oh, you're a witch. Rewriting their minds. Oh, I'll use magic. I got a paper Human corp. Magic. Nice. Gotta love a paper corp. Am I a good student? <sighs> oh gosh, he's so little. This is part of the plan, right? Or the illusion of a plan. <laughs> Damn, you can make a lot of damn. A genius and a wordsmith. I mean, I know it's illusions, not clones, but Kagebushin no Jutsu right there. That's that's some shit. That's a lot of that's a lot of potatoes right there. We're gonna have to bust down the door right behind you. I hope the angle's fine. I actually am putting my feet up under my desk just now. I really felt the need to. It's a really awkward angle, but it should be fine for the video. Apologize to Ms. Jenkinmeyer for stealing her teeth. Caught all the wild Cerebi. Ah, we should be good. It'll be very exciting to have a real human exchange student. And you won't tell the Emperor's Coven about this, will you? No. Hexide School is safe for you both. I'm the principal, not a stooge. Consider your pupil our pupil. Uh, I don't know if I trust that, but fair enough. Ida? Guess who got you into Hexide? What? Uh, sorry, Principal Bump. Damn. Sir. Sir. What did you do? Ugh. Kid. To think that any student of yours would be capable of doing anything but create chaos! Ida, take your student and leave. You are both banned from this campus. Ah, come on, kid. Gus, Gus, go. Gus, Gus, Gus. Wait! Principal Bump, don't play him loose. I told her the ban was lifted. The we were fighting over the Human Appreciation Society. I brought Luce in because I wanted to win. This is all my fault. If that's so, Augustus, would you be willing to accept her punishment as your own? Yes, Principal Bump, I would. Huh. Dang, Dweebus. Very well. In light of that, barring any more trouble, you shall officially be enrolled in Hexide School next semester. Nice. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm only doing this because I have faith in you. And I know you're too smart to fall for that one witch, one coven nonsense. You can learn a lot from the witches here. And maybe teach them some of that bad girl coven magic, too. Hey. I hear that. <laughs> As for you, I would be saying Ooh. detention right now, but that seems to be out of order. So as of now, I'm removing you from the Human Appreciation Society. Does that make me president? Impressive. Still alive. Yes, I suppose you are. Good. Yes. What now, the fuck? With that accomplished, Ida, we have some paperwork to fill this out. This episode was fun. I gotta do more stuff? Ugh! You better enjoy this place, kid. Yeah. I feel you, Ida. Wanna finish off that tour? Fuck that shit. I can show you guys with work. plants not to touch in the work greenhouse. Work sucks. And then I can just, like, just, touch just record. Yeah. Wa just, just watch Let's anime go. and cartoons. <laughs> instead. Hey. Wait. Take me. 
I'm your I'm president. Not, I'm not. Huh, <laughs> come on. I'm excited for. Oh my god. Oh my god, this. I'm going to be running this back and reading all of these, but I just want to let it run. Why can't you remember? Oh, I can't wait to run through this. This is like a special outro, yeah. What wow. the fuck? Bump was not exaggerating. You were a terrible student. No. Okay, um... How far back do we have to go? Incident number 5,523. At 1,300 hours, Edelin, Edelin Clawthorn of the Potions Track... Okay, she was on the Potions Track... Let loose a pack of feral ghosts in the girls' locker room. They flew around in circles, predicting students' doom and shouting out horrible puns like, What's a ghost favorite? Pie, booberry. <laughs> we called in a rag team of ghost blasters to clean them out, but they accidentally opened a door to the ghost dimension which threatened to overtake the city. Ghostbusters! Um, I love the shots, too, of them, like, in the towels and in the fucking Ida. Dude, Ida looked sick! Dude, Ida looked, like, with that fucking orange hair? That's sick. Incident number 3,421. At 1,200 hours, Edelin Clawthorn raised an army of abominations to start a food fight in the cafeteria after her sister Lilith's lunch money was stolen. Hey, that's sick. The abominations then gained sentience and revolted against Edelin forming into one giant abomination and taking over the school. Edelin, Lilith, and the thief had to form an unlikely alliance to stop the giant abomination from destroying Hexide. Interesting. I feel like there's a spin-off show that you could do with Ida and Lily. At 0900 hours, Edelin Clawthorn hexed the school bells to sing famous pop song, pop song, Since You've Been Conned. It lasted for five hours and could only be stopped by pitting the school bells against each other in a fight over who's the better boy band, Babies to Boys or Two Seconds to New York. It was a horrible day, but no one was allowed to go home early. Remember... At 1400 hours, this is incident 2601, Edelin Clawthorn was at it again. This time she found two giant bug things that really just tore up the place. Oh man, I'm getting so tired of writing these things. And now I'm just writing down what I'm thinking. Oh, I hope no one actually reads these. I should take a day off. It's been years since my overlords let me take a day off. This is it, number 7,662. At 1,100 hours, Edelin Clawthorn let the school griffin out from its pen and fed it spicy snacks until it vomited all over the grud grudgeby field. Instead of cleaning it up, I ate a donut. My friends are always telling me I should practice self-care more often. You know what? Why not? I deserve it. Oh my god. That is great. That is that is freaking great. I don't know if I'll because uh, the text wasn't that big, so I might um because when I because we did run through it a first time, so you guys probably got to see the pictures, so I'll probably edit the footage uh to where you where I'll just I'll just keep in like the, the I, I do this sometimes with certain shows where I, I'll like I'll um, edit it to where it, like, focuses on the text so you guys can, like, read the text with me or whatever um, in the file. But it's never come up in a show like this. But I do that sometimes in the edits. But, yeah, that was that was a phenomenal episode uh, just in the matter of being really fun. Like, that was an episode where I feel like the A plot and the B plot were really good. The B plot might have actually been better with Ida and uh, Bump. That was fun. Really good episode. I think the best episode of the set... Ooh, this is tough because my favorite episode of the series is still episode five. Um, but there were some really good episodes. I think my favorite episode might have actually been the episode with Amity because I feel like that episode was, like, really plot relevant. I guess this episode as well was really good. I think those were my two favorites of this set. My least favorite would have been the bodies... Of, well, yeah, I, well... Yeah, it was probably my least favorite was the body swap. 
and just because I'm not a big fan of those. But this episode was really fun. And we got an interesting development out of it. Um, Luz is now officially joining Hexide, which I didn't really expect, or at least I didn't really expect any earlier than maybe the end of season one. Like, I'm assuming the end of season one is going to be dramatic and potentially be a cliffhanger as well, possibly. Um, so I guess I wasn't necessarily expecting it, like, at the end of season one, but I was thinking maybe, like, there's gonna be a big, like, bad thing that happens and Luz somehow helps save the day and then they let her go into the school. I thought that was a possibility, but, um, I kind of like that she's got in the school and now she can actually go to school, which I think will be interesting. It'll be interesting to see her dynamics with her friends, with Willow and Gus, and of course, as I keep harping on in this set, her dynamic with Amity, which again is probably for me the single most interesting plot point of the show so far. I really like Amity and Luz's interactions and where that's going. Now I'm, I and I really like both of the characters. I think I prefer Amity, but I do like Luz quite a bit as well. Um, so it should be interesting to see where that goes. I'm definitely uh, interested to see her have some school episodes where she's actually just straight up going to school. I think that'll be an interesting take on it. And shout outs to the bad girl coven. Um, after I finish recording this, I'm probably going to look up whether or not, uh, I'm or probably not look up because I don't want to get spoiled, but ask someone if that, if there's a shirt, because if there's a shirt, might have to cop that because that's pretty fucking funny. Uh, but yeah, no, that was, that was a fun episode. I really enjoyed that. And, uh, I'm excited for more. I'm definitely excited for more, um, um, Owl House. That, that should be fun. I don't know if that's what I'm going to record in a few or if. Maybe I just won't record anything else, because it is getting kind of late. It's 11.23 at night on Sunday night. Um, this video going up on Monday, probably in about 12 hours or so from now, and probably noon my time tomorrow. Um, but I might record something else. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm debating, because I think my next Al House set is three episodes, I think. Uh, yeah. My next Al House set is three episodes. My next JoJo set is three episodes, so both of those are potential things I might do. Uh, and then I also have my ne um, my next tip. Yeah, my next Owl House is three episodes. My next JoJo's is three episodes. My next Teen Titans is three episodes. My next, I, I kind of feel like I could be wrong, but I want to say my next Monogatari might be three. No, my next Monogatari is actually four. It's actually funny, actually. My next Monogatari, which is the first... My first Nisei Monogatari reaction is my longest Nisei Monogatari reaction. That's actually kind of funny. So, no, I guess my next Monogatari is four episodes. And I talk a shit ton about Monogatari, so it's probably closer... To, more like five episodes, really, if I'm doing four. It might as well be doing five, at least. But, um, yeah, it'll be really fun. I'm really excited for more. So, we're halfway through season one of Owl House. I'm enjoying the show a lot. I think it's really cool. I think there's a ton of potential in this series, and I'm really curious to see what the second half of season two does to really get the show more exciting and push it towards the future with season two and season three on the horizon. It should be really exciting to see where the show is going long term, and I feel like the second half of season one might give us a better idea of where the show's going long term, because there are definitely things that are, are being set up, but we don't have a huge idea of what's coming, so we'll have to see uh, where that goes, and I'm excited to see it. So, without any further ado, we are going to check out some more um, Owl House next time, obviously do the next uh, three episodes next time, but for the time being, that's going to do it for my reaction to Season 1, Episode 6 to 9 of the Owl House. Really enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to support the channel, you can um, hit up my Patreon. There's monthly movie polls, and occasionally there are series polls, but not that common. Uh, there will be one in July. The next series poll will be a double kind of poll for anime series in July, but those series will not be for a long time. But it, it's, yeah, but whatever. Uh, but for the, every month, there's movie polls. That's always cool. And, and there's not really much else going on, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's go popping, but I'm really having a blast with this series, and I'm excited to catch up and watch the series again, probably weekly. The other thing I've thought about maybe is just doing like uh, a, a, a set every few weeks, like a few episodes come out, I'll do a, a set, and then do another few episodes when another few episodes come out, do another set. 
I've thought about doing that. I've never really done that with a series before, like as it's coming out, waiting for a couple episodes to come out, do a set and like do a video on the series like once a month or, you know, w- you know, once or twice a month, you know, like, you know, twice every six weeks or something like that. I've never done that. Uh, but it's something I've considered. That's another thing I might do. I don't know. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to tackle season two of The Owl House. But I also kind of want to, like, do the rest of season one and then gauge how hyped I am. And if I'm, like, really hyped for season two, I might just get right into it. If I'm not, then I might be a little more patient and do something like that. We'll see. We'll see. But it would be fun to do a weekly series. Um... So we'll see. I might. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But whatever the case may be, I'm definitely looking forward to more. And we will jump into that soon. But uh, for the time being, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those of you who have not decided yet, it is time for me to bid you adieu. Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.